Hey everybody, KC here. So it appears that John Mackey, the founder and CEO of Whole Foods, has got himself a little bit of a public relations problem because Mackey went on Freakonomics Radio, uh, was asked about healthcare because he's had somewhat controversial um, attitudes towards healthcare. And basically what he said is people don't need healthcare, they just need to eat better. Uh, specifically what he said is the best solution is not to need healthcare. The best solution is to change the way people eat, the way they live, their lifestyles, and diet. He pointed out, not incorrectly, that 71% of Americans are overweight, 42.5% of them are obese. He said, clearly we're making bad choices in how we eat, and uh, there's no reason that people shouldn't be healthier and have a, lo a longer lifespan. And, you know, listen, he's absolutely right. Americans don't eat as well as, uh, as they should, and if we ate better and we ate less crap, we would live longer, okay? There's no question about that. What I think is interesting is the degree of arrogance uh, that is sort of implied in the statement that he makes. Um, and I'm not sure that that kind of level of arrogance is necessarily a good thing when you're talking to your customers uh, who may not be eating particularly uh, as well as you want them to eat or as well as you eat, or even potential customers, because people don't necessarily want to be lectured to. They do want a retailer who maybe is going to make it a little easier for them to achieve those ends. Now, let's face it, Mackey and Whole Foods have never made a pretense of bringing healthy food to the masses. No, no, no listen, they're, they're, they've always been a high-end uh, retail operation selling um, healthy products for a lot of money. And by the way, it was a business model that, you know, was having its troubles until Amazon stepped in and bought it for $13.7 billion. So you've got this guy who's never been trying to sell healthier food to the masses, who, you know, who makes billions of dollars when he sells the company to Amazon, can afford to have any health care or any food that he wants, basically being very condescending to people. And I don't just necessarily think that's the way to go. Again, if you want to make, if you want to help people eat better, help people eat better. But that means everybody. The real, you know, the people who need health care in this country are the people who don't have health care in this country. Certainly not the kind of health care that rich folks have. You know, the people who got billions of dollars when they sold their company. Um, I just think that if people in the industry want to talk to their consumers. They need to do it with a little bit more compassion, a little less condescension, and an understanding that they can play an important role in people's lives, but only if they connect to them as opposed to lecture them. Um, there, by the way, there's one other interesting lesson about this. Mackey gave this interview to Freakonomics Radio like months ago, but it just popped up on CNBC, and this is when he's got all his bad publicity. It's a really good lesson, right? This, because of the internet, the stuff that you say months ago can always come back and haunt you. Oh, and one other point, and I thought the New York Post coverage of this made a really interesting point, which is, yeah, healthy eating can help you deal with health, some health issues, but not all health issues. They point out that just, uh, just recently, six Whole Foods employees in New York City tested positive for COVID-19 and they describe it as yet another deadly disease that has nothing to do with how people eat. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning, and as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.